Hello, hello. Welcome to another short and quick tip. And today we're going to be creating this um, nice Happy Mother's wallpaper. Friday I upload a video on YouTube and someone on the left, uh, you know, this is the video that I upload on YouTube. But someone left a message uh, telling me, you know, he downloaded the project, but the problem is he can't change the color. He said, I would like to keep the pattern and just change the color, background color. That's what he is requesting now. So that's what I'm gonna show you, you know, the easy way how to create this nice patterns, these textures, and change you any color, and then export to Premiere or After Effects. But before we start, I'm gonna show you where to download the patterns I create. You know, then it's nothing fancy, it's just a basic. I create this uh, so you can download my site. Just go and download this uh, download button and you will have, so I'm gonna show you first how to install a Mac. So when you download from my site, you will have in the download folder, I already downloaded. And I have, and here it says Photoshop, you know, um, 2015. It's for Photoshop 2015, of course, the latest. And we work with any version that you have. So the way to install is once you download, you have to go to applications, and look for your Photoshop and um, Photoshop uh, CC 2014 as you see and then go to presets and then we have to look it up for the folder called patterns and there we have you see and just a drag and drop I should just, uh, just select it drag and drop and that's it for PC users the same thing you have to download from my site you see here's the download button and then you will have in the download folder so you see if we go down the folder and you will have you know I already downloaded and extract so here we go so the way to install for Photoshop as I say for PC users is go to start computer and then look for C drive and then program file depending on what system you are 32 or 64 I have both so I'm gonna just install on 64 if you have a 32 actually you know just what it says a uh, program file 86 so let me just open program file then go to Adobe and here depending on how many versions you have in my case I have two CS6 as you see and the Creative Cloud so I'm gonna just install in the Creative Cloud is the same thing you can if you have more than one version it's the same thing just open up and on Photoshop depending on version you have and go presets and then look it up for pattern folder and here we got the pattern so let me just go drag and drop that's everything just make sure continue and you will have it so when you open the Photoshop you will see your patterns and the you know I have already created this uh, layer so the way to apply the pattern is make sure select it and go you know effects blending options and then go pattern overlay of course you won't have this if you open for first time so the way to install uh, you know to pull in Photoshop I said let's go to this um, gear icon and then just a low pattern so the window will come up if you uh, install for first time it won't come up like this they might you know might coming up like music or something else so you already know where you install so it's computer C drive it's program file depending if you have 64 32 the same thing so then go Adobe Photoshop depending on the version you have and then presets and you know the same process I go patterns and there you have it. just select and then load and so you will have it and you can start using it you see okay so that's the way to install in Windows so we will continue with the project Photoshop and we're gonna create the same project that I have in here so I just wanna do uh, a little quick you know so then go I uh, may make sure Photoshop selecting go new and we're gonna choose let me see what it is here you go and go to you know presets we're gonna choose uh, film and video and we might get in this size to HD 1080p which is a 1920 by 1080 so I'm just gonna do this and the way to create the background and we'll be able to change it later on so it's go to you know the adjustment layers down here in the latest version Oh, before I forgot something else before we start with this we need to install the um, you know make sure let me just double click this okay and before we start we need to check uh, I mean pull in the patterns that we installed so the way to pull in the patterns is go to effect uh, or later later style and go patterns and you will have this uh, little 
window, you know. And the way to install is, uh, you know, I already had, I guess, you see, I already have. But the way to install is just click this um, gear icon and go load patterns and it'll pop up the window. And my, and if you use it for first time, my open up like this uh, for the music, but you know, I already know where you drag and drop. So I just go from application, go Photoshop um, 2014, go presets, and then look it up for patterns. And here we go. And then you see, this is the pattern where if I, we drag and drop and just uh, hit on open, and you will have the patterns and you can start using that's the way to pull it, pulling in Photoshop. So. Once we have this, we need to go to adjustment layer and then create a solid color. For this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna use a nice color dye that we have in the same project, which is, uh, you know, you can use the same color you like, or you can choose any color you see, red. The, the cool thing of this is you can change anytime you want. Just gonna double click in this little icon. All right, so let me just uh, add the value that I'm gonna use. If you like the same color, just copy and paste. I mean, just copy the values. And then we have, and then we need to start adding the uh, pattern. So as you know, you go layer style and then go pattern overlay. And there we have. So we need to pull this uh, down. And we need to, you know, you can check all of the patterns available in my pack. It's not many, but you can create a nice project. So that we using is the little heart so you can just adjust the size uh, scale down a little bit or up you see so that's the way you know any any pattern you choose you can just uh, play with just feel free to download from my side as i said it's free you don't have to pay anything i will be making more and not into the pack so make sure to keep in tune for more patterns so let me just go on this and make a little bit and then we need, it would, they will have the color with the pattern, so we need to create the banner that we have in the center. So and the way to create the banner is, go, you know, hit the U as a uniform, and, you know, just click this, make sure the rectangle tool is selected. And then the latest version, just click, and it will pop up this little window. You see, create a rectangle. So we're going to make a 1920 by 300, I guess. So let me just go 300, and then hit OK. And also we need to align this to center, so make sure that the selection tool is selected. Holding down uh, Command A as Apple, you can select this, or you can go to Select and select All. And once we have this, we need to align this, so we just go to the center, align to the center. And then we also we need to deselect, so to go Select, Deselect, and there we have. The second thing is uh, change this banner color. So we're going to choose another color. So the way to change the color is go and hit the U key on the keyboard. And we're going to change the color to this. You know, you can change any color you like. So I'm going to use this value. And there we have. And also we need to, you know, create those uh, lines that we have in this, you know, this little line. So it's the same thing. We need to hit the uh, U and just uh, click in the center and you will see. So we're gonna just uh, go 1920 by 10 pixel, I guess, and just hit okay. Of course it will be the same color, but we can change also the color. So go to, um, change the color and just uh, go white maybe. And there we have. So the way to align this uh, into the banner is make sure uh, hold it down command and select the banner. If you see the selection and just go and align to the center to the center and also we need to align to the all the way to the top of the banner the second thing is you need to duplicate this so just uh, command j is uh, the way to duplicate so the same thing we need to make sure to select the banner and we need to align all the way to the bottom and there we have so once we have this we need to put this a little bit down like 20 or 30 pixels so hold it down shift with the arrow down so and just i mean up you know one two Three, maybe right there and also the same thing the other one that we have on the top so one two three there we have then we need to create the texture that we have just uh, hit this or create a new layer once we have this we need to hold down shift and delete key and we'll pop up this uh, fill window so you have a couple choice in there but in here for this tutorial we're gonna use what it says pattern 
and then you can choose the pattern you like. So I'm gonna use this, and when you download the pack, you will see this uh, texture. So let me just hit OK, and there we have the texture. So then we need to put, uh, go to blending motion, I mean, and then put the uh, overlay, and there we have. And second thing, we need to go and create the hair. So as you know, you can download the brushes on my website. You can download the package. Actually, you know what, go on my website. And here you got you can download courses free. It's also for Mac and PC, as you see down here. So you can just download it. And you know the same thing you can install in Photoshop. I have some videos that you can install in Photoshop. Well, going back to Photoshop, hit the B as a boy, you know, and pick the brush tool and just uh, pick the brushes that I you download from my site. Uh, actually, I don't have a download. Let me just go and download it. I'm here back after I installed my brush in my Photoshop. I will leave the link down below in the description, the video how to install the brushes on Mac and PC. So once we have this, we need to go to this uh, little gear icon and show large thumbnails. And it's much easier to work, you know, and there we have. So you will have this heart, so we're going to use the same. Make sure we're going to create another layer. Oh, the shortcut is Command Shift plus N to create a new layer. And let me just, uh, you know, and any color you like. So let me just uh, hit black. And we need to change the color. So let me just add a effect style and then just um, go color overlay. And here we're gonna change a nice blue color. So if you're gonna use the same value, so you can just pass the video and copy. Okay, once we have this, we need to just hit okay. Also, we need to duplicate. The way to duplicate is Command D. You know, I'm sorry, Command J in Photoshop, I'm confusing with After Effects, or just drag and drop into the new layer. And then we need to make sure this, uh, you know, right click and convert to a smart object. Once we have this, so we can just uh, go back to my effect and add the color overlay. And then we need to change the color I was talking about. So let me just uh, add the value. So you can choose the same value. Then I hit OK. So once we have this, and then we need to uh, free transform, so we'll go edit and go free transform or command T as the shortcut. Uh, holding on shift and option, we need to scale down a little bit down, right there maybe. And also we need to add a you know, stroke, so go back to my effect, double click and add a stroke. So we might need to go inside, that's fine, and we need to go to five pixels and we might need to change to white so let me see actually and they have I think a seven pixels might will be much better and hit OK and there we have the second thing we need to add the texture that we have on the top of this card so the way I added that uh, you know create a new layer and go back to my patterns as you know as I said before holding down shift and delete key to bring the uh, fill window and then you see you can choose the pattern and then hit OK and then we have the pattern so then we need to go actually you know go and select you know holding that command and click the heart you see and you have the selection once we have the selection just make sure the texture is selected and add a mask make sure the foreground is black and let me just uh, click the mask and you will see it's added the mask around the heart so and then also we need to go maybe overlay and there we have it's a nice uh, texture you know looking nice so then we need to start adding text I guess so let me go back to my text tool and see let me just uh, type you are the best ever so you need to change the color maybe so I'm just go and change the color. So go text properties, and we need to change the color. And also we might need to change the font type. And you can download on dafont.com. That's another great website that you can download fonts, of course, for personal use, not for commercial. Uh, Kalinga, you see, maybe this size a little bit to 40, maybe. Yeah. And they also we need to add the big title that we have down here. The same thing, just pick the text tool and we go, you know, happy. 
and we might need to change the align to center make sure to select the command A to select all and we need to align to center I guess you see then we also we might need to change the uh, to deselect the shortcut this command D in case you do not and let me just go and change the text I mean the font size as well so just turn this you know and we might need to increase the size to 80 maybe and see yeah maybe a little bit more bigger you can choose any size you like and there we have and then we need to change the color maybe so let me just change the color the same value you might need to have you know it's b42859 and there we have and also what else we have you know the same we need to create another layer you know and pick the brush tool or well, as I said at the B as a boy is the shortcut and so go to my brushes and you will have this also this nice rose uh, you know it's just stroke so let me just hold it down uh, you know the bracket kits is to increase or decrease the size of the brushes so I'm gonna just you know uh, make sure there's the same uh, color we have any text with the big text so let me just you know keep nice the same project so let me just uh, decrease a little I mean yeah scale it down a little bit more and let me see there we have and also you know you can start adding more text uh, or more brushes so, you know you can that's the way to create this nice uh, happy mother's day background so this is the cool that I was talking about and also what he was uh, asking me. So let me just, you know, so let's see, as I said at the beginning, just double click and you can start change the color. You know, you can have any color you like, you see, and you still keeping the same uh, color of the patterns, you see. So that's the way to change the color and it will, uh, you know, to have uh, any color you like. And uh, let me just cancel because I have, and also if you like to change the this, uh, frame heart so let's just go and, and you know this one i think it's this one which one is this let me see what oh, that is this so let me just uh double click the effects and also you can change you know go and change the any color you like so you see and just put this you see you can change any color you like so i'm going to just cancel and you know because i want a nice color and also the banner is the same thing you can go to you know uh, hit the U to have a uh, select the uh, shape tool. Make sure the banner is selected. Let me just see if we can change and see what I'm talk talking about. And there we have. That's the way to change. Let me just go back to the same code that we have. I guess that's it for today. Hope you guys like it and just go and download my buttons from my site. Of course, it's free. I think we move one more thing I'm gonna show you. Oh, not this. Uh, Particles is easier, you know. The particle comes with Photoshop for default, so just make sure the banner is selected and just click and you know, create another layer and hit the B as a boy and choose the this nice circle. And we're gonna just uh, you know, make sure to do a couple settings if we go pull up the brushes window and we can just uh, start playing with so and just uh, space a little bit there maybe and also the size is too big so let me just go right there actually you know and the shape dynamic you know the size jury and just start playing with and the scattering also you can start playing you see and let me see actually let's space a little bit more All right, and choose the same color that we have on the banner. So, it's, uh, you know, let me just have the same color. Then click OK, and we can start, you know, so as I say, the bracket key is to increase or decrease the size. And you see, you just, uh, you know, start adding the, the particles. You see? Yeah, that's it, nothing hard to do. Hope you guys like it. Please uh, leave a comment, like the video, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks.